A forest, if you look at it, can be defined as a large area of land where we have spans of trees, maybe of the same size, different sizes, but they are all covered and may be clustered together. It may be planned, that means planned by human being, it may be natural. So if you look at it now, if, bear in mind the trees that are there, that's what makes it a forest. In the year 2011, the International Year of Forests designed a momentum bringing greater attention to the forests worldwide. Forests cover almost a third of the Earth's surface, providing many environmental benefits, including a major role in rehydrologic soil conversion as well as economic benefits. For years, the destruction of forests has been going on and it has not been able to comprehend until recently, nobody knows how much of the world rainforest have already been destroyed and continue to be raised each year. Deforestation can be defined as the act of one cutting away these trees for a particular purpose. For instance, some people may cut away the trees for their own use, maybe for the government or anything, but deforestation simply means cutting away of trees. Deforestation is the permanent destruction of forests in order to make the land available for other uses. It is the conversion of forests to an alternative permanent non-forested land use, such as grazing, causing loss of biodiversity and enhancing the greenhouse effect. There are many reasons why deforestation takes place. Some includes the following one. The first one may call and take place as a result of somebody trying to cultivate a land for agricultural purpose. Now it's a virgin land for agricultural purpose. Before you can cultivate, you must clear the land before you now do your tillage operations and other activities. But that's not withstanding. That has rules and regulations in terms of that. That is one reason. Two, we can also deforestate when you are constructing roads. You can also deforestate when you are maybe mining, mining where they mine all these chemicals. Then you can also deforestate when you want to maybe get additional maybe living area, expansion of living areas. Like for instance, in this polytechnic now, maybe when we want to build new hostels. There will be trees there, definitely those trees. So there are many reasons. I just listed a few for you. Mining, we want to cultivate your land for agricultural purpose, construction of roads, railways, you know, many things. Those are the things that leads to deforestation. But under normal circumstances, there are rules and regulations on which this can be done. It's no issue of just cutting down the trees, you finish your construction or you finish your hostels. I left it like that. There are rules and regulations. According to the 2010 Global Forest Resource Assessment, deforestation releases nearly a billion tons of carbon into the atmosphere per year. Deforestation is the second largest human caused source of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. According to a report published in January 3, 2019, it was revealed that deforestation activities are mostly done in Lampai, Bida, Age, Kacha, Suleja, and Rafin, local government area of the state. Only 40% of the Niger state forest currently remains. It 
people don't follow the laid down rules and regulations of doing the deforestation. One, normally, for instance, if I want to plant in a land for agriculture purpose, after clearing, based on the system of uh, the farm, I'm supposed to plant some trees at intervals. Those trees have many purposes. Then, two, there are some people that aimlessly they just go to the forest to clear land, maybe to cut it for wood or to make charcoal or for paper, you know, a lot of things like that. These things have become environmental hazard because normally when they cut, they are supposed to replace. But people are not following it. And it's not even sure of cutting. When you cut, before you cut, there is a pattern for cutting. Because the log has maybe branches, maybe from the roots. You don't just cut the whole thing. You cut a particular side, and then when the other side will be growing. And it's like, this one, when this one goes, the other one comes in. In many areas where we have forests, before they even deforest, there's what we call budding in agriculture. They will get the same mini plant of another one, cut it on the body of that one, insert it inside, it will be growing. And when that one is getting out, they will now cut the top, and this one now continues. But they are no more doing it just because maybe it takes time or because of the financial involvement. And these are, there are many reasons leading to that. One, the government itself is not facing what it's supposed to face. Because in as well, there are forestry rule, uh, laws and regulations. The government is supposed to ensure that when people cut, they should replace them. Or companies that have to do with forest materials, they should also be encouraged to plant forestry. And when they plant forestry, they should maintain it. What do I say maintain it? It's not sure when you plant, you cut, you go to another place. Maintaining means you'll be trimming and then before you come to cut the tree. Deforestation can cause logging. Illegal logging activities are very common that destroy the livelihood of people depending on the forest. Wood-based industries like paper, matchsticks, furniture, need a substantial amount of wood supply. Wood is used as a fuel. Most commonly, large amounts of trees are cut down for fuel supplies. And the conversion of forests into agricultural land is a big reason for deforestation. Due to the overgrowing demand for food produce, many trees are chopped down for crops and for cattle grazing. Over 40% of forests are cleansed to obtain land and meet the needs of agriculture and wood. Oil and mining of coal requires a large amount of forest land. Construction of roads leads to deforestation as it provides the way to remote land. The waste comes out from mining pollutes the environment and affects nearby species, urbanization. As the population grows, the need of people increases, which further leads to deforestation. Forests shrink to a great extent to meet the requirements, like for construction of road, development of houses, mineral exploitation, and expansion of industries. Increasing population directly affects forests, as with the expansion of cities, there is need for more land. Deforestation has also served as a disturbance to native people for the seek shelter under these trees. But when it is removed, they are left stranded. Deforestation has some negative effects to the environment. One of them is loss of species. 70% of the world's plants and animals live in forests and are losing their habitats to deforestation. It also has negative consequences for medical researchers and local population that rely on the animals and land in the forest for hunting and medicine. Deforestation leads to soil erosion, which causes silt entering the lakes, streams, and other water resources. That's what we call a symbiotic relationship. For instance, we need oxygen mm -hmm. to survive. And when we take in this oxygen, we carbon dioxide. The plants that you are seeing, 
need carbon dioxide to survive. So the carbon dioxide that we are bringing out is being taken up by these plants. And then the oxygen that we need is being provided by the plants. So if we now, on our own, aimlessly just cut down all these trees, you know, without replacing them, yeah. how do we now get oxygen? By also destroying the forest, all potential future revenues and future employment that could be derived from sustainable management for timber and non-timber products disappear. However, there are some strategies that can be met out to reduce deforestation. If you check our environment now, the kind of food we eat, there are some people that if they've not seen meat on maybe rice and beans, you know, you don't see meat on top, they'll be annoyed. But you know that this meat comes from animals. These animals need to be, I mean, stationed somewhere. And before you can station somewhere, you have to defrostate. So we ourselves have to limit maybe some of the food we take. I'm not saying you should stop. But instead of you now eating meat continuously, you can eat meat today, break for two days, eat fish, you know, that will now reduce the demand for meat. And that will now reduce the demand for slaughtering cows. Because you know cows, they are one of the factors that meat people to grow because they will have to come and settle them somewhere, cut the trees, and then they have to survive. So we have to be educated. One, we have to also cut down the type of maybe food we eat that do not put much demand on this, on the mm. going one, going two, maybe the first. And if you check, even in our academic settings, the papers we use, all these things we are comes from the forest. By reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, increase the area of forest permanently reserved for timber production. Increase area of plantation by using vacant and used land. 